Hey guys, it's Emma here today, and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I will be talking about the skins, but I'm also having another topic, um, which I am talking about, which is, um, uh, well, Black Lives Matter and all of that. So I know you've probably seen a lot of stuff on this, and you might be sick of it, but it's a very important topic to talk about, and some people still aren't educated. Um, I will still be talking about the skins, but, um... Mainly, I'll be talking about, um, at least for the first part of this video, the Black Lives Matter, um, and things that, um, I think are important to talk about. So, let me just talk about the skin real fast. Um, I took the color palette at the beginning, and then, um, I just kind of was already inspired, and I did some, I did two braids in the back. Um, on these skins, I tried to do more, um, like, of, like, a black girl hairstyle, which, um, you know, that comes from their culture more, so, um, like, what that means is, like, braids and, um, like, dread, stuff like that, so, it's definitely out of my comfort zone, but, um, let me know what you think, um, so, like I said, these were two braids, uh, I really like how this one turned out, but, um, Anyway, so now I'm going to talk about today is Juneteenth. That's why I decided to make that video today. Um, Juneteenth is a day that uh, officially all slaves in all, all African American slaves were freed in America because uh, they weren't. Emancipation Proclamation did not free all slaves immediately. There were still slaves in Texas, so people are working to make Juneteenth uh, an official national holiday um, for paid work leave and things like that so I'm going to definitely link some resources below um, which that is very important because um, it's a day to celebrate African American culture um, another thing I want to talk about is I am um, a white American so uh, anything I say I'm saying it as me and I have not experience I'm not claiming to experience a racism based on like com comparable to any of these um, I'm speaking I just want to use my privilege for something good is what I'm saying which yes white privilege does exist and it does not mean that you don't have struggles in your life but it is important to acknowledge that uh, not everyone in our country is equal um, so one thing I noticed then that I really want to talk about is the lack of diversity in Minecraft skins. So um, a lot of people mainly make white or pale tan skins, which there's nothing wrong with those, but I think we need to see more um, skins of black people and different skin tones because all I really see are the same skin tones over and over. Um, maybe a little bit more pink, but it's all very light or a little bit tan. So I think it's very important that we emphasize that like dark is like beautiful as well um, because there is colorism too, which um, I did not know was so prevalent um, until I researched recently um, how light skinned people are viewed as more attractive and then dark skin people aren't so I definitely tried to keep a range of skin tones in this some lighter some darker so um, I hope you guys appreciate that um, I'll go more into the skins later but basically now I'm on to my second skin which I did a different kind of braid I don't know the exact terms for them so if you'd like to let me know please do I looked at reference photos so I just wasn't uh, exactly sure of the terms but um, I, I really like how this one turned out. I really like the color palette and everything. Well, what I wanted to say about diversity in Minecraft skins is I have always tried to uh, have, I'll insert probably a pic of me like going through my skins to show that I do always make diverse skins, but I want more of the community to do that. Um, about the skin right now, I started with a way less saturated hair um, hair color, but then I saturated it because it looked way too gray. Um, but anyway, so another thing I wanted to talk about is that you should educate yourself. If you're in those people still saying, 
All Lives Matter and not understanding the purpose of the Black Lives Matter movement, then that means that you have not educated yourself and instead you are just erasing um, the effects effects of racism and police brutality instead of recognizing the problem and being a part of the movement. Um, which being part of the movement, it's not just a trend, it is something that uh, people have been trying to do for a long time and it's good that it's more mainstream right now, but it needs to become a normal thing. It, we need to normalize speaking out against racism even it, even with our own family members because uh, it's just not right and we need changes in especially our country but this is not just an American thing I mean there's a lot of problems with America and if you don't agree with that then okay but um, this is not in Canada that um, Native American communities I if I said the wrong word then I'll insert the indigenous communities um, they are um, a minority that people are very racist against and saying that, um, saying that is not taking away from the movement because we're still recognizing that um, the black people, that black people do need help um, and as well. But when you say all lives matter, you're basically saying, ow, <laughs> you're basically taking away from the movement because um, you're including people who do have privilege and yes, your life does matter. Uh, I'll insert some things right now to ex that some little images that explain why Black Lives Matter is not or All Lives Matter is not valid to say. Um, so you need to educate yourself um, instead of relying on Black people and other people to explain over and over again to people to privileged people. You have, if you're watching this video, you have the internet. So instead of being ignorant, I need you to research on your own and find out why the movement is important. So another thing is, um, the media portrays um, black people as, um, like, so the protests that have been going on, there are a lot of peaceful protests, not just riots, and a lot of the riots are because of the police doing things. The police initiated violence, they initiated with tear gas and stuff. So I don't want you to think that, oh well, they're destroying our country. A lot of people aren't, and you should not let that take away from the movement. But also, if you look in history, the Stonewall riots for Pride Month, which is Pride, Pride Month, you need a lot, almost every good movement in history needed some type of not peaceful protest, like a riot or something. And I'm not saying that I will personally do that, I'm not saying it's exactly right, but it works. We, so I'm just saying, do not hate so fast, you cannot be mad at these people for being angry that that someone else was killed that so many people are being killed you cannot be mad at people for that that is a human life and buildings do not equal the same as a human life so i wanted to talk about how um in t on tv shows the tv may, uh perpe perpetuates harmful stereotypes um i don't there i'll probably link an article below talking about that more but um they also the black characters just used as a token for diversity you have all seen the token black friend people have to uh, celebrities have to look like they're not racist <coughs> jeffree star um and uh tv the, they also have um a lack of diversity because they might have a black person but they won't be very dark and there's nothing wrong with not being dark what I'm saying is that there needs to be it there needs to be a mix of people it shouldn't just be oh I need light skin to have an adequate role in this television show so um, I will link resources down below that explain more things I'm inserting some pictures in this video which does take extra time to edit but I do think it's very important to talk about so whenever I'm doing the montages, I'll um, explain the skins more because um, I just thought I'd have, um, just because this whole time I've been talking about other things. So the skin I'm working on right now, which I love how it turned out. Um, I love the hue shifting I did. Um, I love how the gold looks. I love the color palette. I love the outfit. Um, and I think she's just really adorable. If you would like a version of the skins in a different 
uh, skin color, like a darker skin color or whatever, or even a lighter, that um, just request it below, or a different hair color, uh, request it below, and I'll try to get to it. Anyway, this skin will be linked as skin number one in the description. I forgot what I named it, but it's kind of, I think it's very cute, um, and just pretty girly, and I think it would be great for someone who loves color and just is pretty girly and stuff like that. Um, I can also make male versions of the skins if you guys want that, or non-binary. Um, so I like, I really love how that turned out. Uh, and then this one I think is so cute. This one is the one with, uh, like, several braids. And it has, like, I love the color palette, first of all. Um, I think the skin tone con complements it beautifully. And, um, I love the little berry I added, um and I just love it all together. I just love the colors, the colorfulness, and everything. So I hope I don't sound cocky. I just really enjoy how these turned out. So I'll try to make more skins like this in the future. Let me know if you like these. Um, the last skin, like I said, I love this. I love how the shirt looks. Um, I just love it. Like, I don't know what kind of vibes. I just love the vibes I'm getting from it. Like, the, like, aesthetic kind of. Um, I just think it's pretty adorable, and I hope I can make more skins like that in the future, because usually I don't do overalls. So anyway, I just wanted to end this video by saying make sure to check out the resources, let me know what you think of the skins, which one's your favorite, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you like it, and I hope you all have a great day, and take what I said seriously. Bye!